Okay, so I have an update on the update on the brakes. Uh, the master cylinder swap out didn't work. And some of you in the comment section below said it probably wouldn't work. So some of you were right. Uh, other people said that it wouldn't work. I had some people said that it would work. So, so I spoke with Bob Barrows, the designer of the Bearhawk. He's also an engineer and he gave me some suggestions. So Bob told me that I should check the distance between the pad and the rotor when the pad is pushed all the way in. I'm on the left side right now because the right side's off. But if I take that press plate, I don't know if you can see it with my finger, and I push it so that the pistons and the caliper are fully in, it can't go in any further, and then I try to put something in between the pad and the rotor, I should have about a sixteenth of an inch. That's what he says I should be looking for. This is a piece of .025 aluminum, which is about one thirty-second of an inch, and we're not getting anything in there. So that was also the case on the right side. Bob seems to think that uh, both of these brakes are having potential of heating up and doing what the right side was doing, and the left side just was not quite there. He called it, I'm on the hairy edge of uh, having the same problem on the left side as the right side. So what's the solution? Well, that's a piece of uh, 063 aluminum, and uh, it's about 1 16th of an inch thick. And Bob seems to think that by uh, putting a shim or a spacer between the uh, back plate and the caliper body, that that should give me a little more distance on the pads between the rotors and the pads. Uh, I had asked about that or thought about that, and, I thought, and that's kind of a, not a very good hack. But he seems to think that's a good idea. And then I talked to an A&P, and he says, you know, we do this quite frequently on King Airs. Uh, it's not uncommon that you have to shim between these calipers and the pads or the back plate, or actually the, this is the back plate, uh, to get the distance off the rotor. So I took that um, 6061 aluminum and I made uh, about a 1 16th inch shim, which will go in here like this. And then we'll put the back plates on. And then we will have some spacing. And again, I'm gonna do this on both sides. That way we'll space out each side equally um, and should keep each of those sides from having the potential of heating up like they were before. So that's where we are. All right, so we got it back together. Got these brakes bled. Here's the shim right through here. And we've got a lot of good uh, movement now inside there. Same thing over here. Just wanted those to be matched up. Got the shim right in here. So I'm gonna push it out roll it down the runway and see if these brakes get hot or maybe not if you get an error message like that and your EFIS doesn't work you can't see what your engine monitoring is doing time to call aerotronics okay so the detour is official called aerotronics jason smith was great i tell you these guys have been fantastic for their support i cannot say enough about aerotronics they they built that panel for me almost two years ago yeah maybe longer than that and uh, every time i call them they pick up the phone they help me they they help me chase down problems they've been fantastic so jason called dynon dynon said hey have him send it to us and he said well he kind of needs it pretty quickly He's getting ready to do his first flight. They said, okay, we'll send him a replacement. They, what they call a cross shipment. I'll send mine to them. They're gonna send me a replacement and I should have it in two days. So here's the deal. It's out and I'm gonna put that in a box and send it to Washington State. 